Do you know how to create a form in HTML and send it via email? Though coding can be intimidating, this process can be made easier than it sounds with a little practice and the right tools. In today's video, we'll look at a few ways to create HTML forms and send them through email. I'm Alex from JotForm. Let's begin. People tend to assume that coding is incredibly difficult to master, which isn't surprising as it's easy to believe that coders can speak a language that others can't. But HTML coding, as well as inserting code into your online forms, isn't as complex as you might think. While it can be intimidating at first, learning to use some code can help you operate your business more effectively. For instance, you unlock more flexibility when you use HTML to create forms for your users. Using HTML in forms is a practice that you can also apply to many other business processes. So let's go ahead and look at how to create a form in HTML and send it to email as well as why doing so can help your business. First, you should remember to stick to the basics. There isn't an A to B when it comes to creating and sharing a form with HTML. In fact, there are a few ways to go about it. One method is to use sample code. This method is especially useful when you're asking for your user's personal information. Some sample codes can create a form with fields for your recipient's name and email address, as well as an option for them to include a message. Simply search the internet for a sample code that suits your needs. While not all sample code is designed for responses to be sent directly to email addresses, it can prompt users to submit the form through the email that they use. This will also create a layer of security for your user's information as their email address won't be exposed to potential phishing. Next, keep in mind that to create a form in HTML, you need to be precise. Thankfully, some resources have created the code necessary to achieve your desired results. One more complex method of creating a form in HTML and sending it through email involves PHP, otherwise known as Hypertext Preprocessor. Use PHP code to create form fields for something like a contact us page where users can input their name, email, and message. You'll need to add the exact code into your web page, otherwise it will not show up correctly. Then you can play around with the code depending on the type of responses you're looking for from users. The second step of this process is to insert PHP code that prompts an email. Consider getting some outside help throughout the process. If you've tried coding and decided it's not for you, there are other options. There are user-friendly resources that come in the form of drag and drop applications and plugins. For one, WordPress offers countless form plugins and designs such as builders like WP Forms, where you can build email lists as well as Ninja Forms, which is free and able to send emails with data from your form submissions. There's also Shopify, which offers a suite of apps for form building as well as Google Forms, which can work directly with your email campaigns. Another great no-code required resource is, you guessed it, JotForm. JotForm's free HTML form generator is ideal for form customization, app integration, and embedding forms into your website. Plus, you can even take your form's HTML code and work with it outside of JotForm's form builder. With thousands of form templates to choose from, JotForm can meet any of your needs. One of the biggest perks of using JotForm for your HTML form needs is its autoresponder emails feature. This feature ensures that when a user fills out your forms, they'll automatically receive a confirmation email and you'll receive an email as well with an outline of their submission. You can customize the settings and particulars of this process, such as the text in the autoresponder email, all through the form builder. Even better, you can attach files to autoresponder emails to provide any additional information that you need to share with your users. You can even program your email to be sent at a later date if there's a specific time that you prefer. Regardless of your workflow, JotForm has everything for maintaining communication with your form respondents. Don't hesitate to explore all of your options for HTML coding. Workshopping your more technical processes might not be the most exciting aspect of your business, but it can be one of the most beneficial. If you set up reliable systems for HTML forms, you won't have to worry about fixing anything in the future, which means that you can continue creating forms to allow your customers to actively communicate with you. Let's review. Try these methods to create a form in HTML and send it to email. Stick to the basics by using sample code. 
use PHP alongside HTML to ensure precision in your form creation. Get help from other no-code platforms and tools like JotForm, WordPress plugins, and Google Forms. Finally, remember to solidify your autoresponder email process, which is made easy when you use JotForm. Again, I'm Alex from JotForm, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time, and take care for now. Thank you.